are different groups in the market which they're not related, they're just doing things on their own. And sometimes when the market goes up into a bull move, that group may decide to sell. And normally that stops the market for a bar or two if it's still bullish. Um, but as we'll explain later, which is vital importance for you, is that uh, if a red signal appears, it's only valid if you've got weakness in the background, not strength. That's very, very important. Might That's make a, a note of that. Huge guide, guideline. I want to just repeat that. Can you repeat that again, Tom, for, for everybody listening out there on the web? This is so important. So um, important this yep. that if the market's going up and a red signal suddenly appears, it, it's there for some reason. Somebody has sold. And very often, within the next bar, I've seen it, or next two bars, it's tested. The market's tested. In other words, it goes down on a narrow spread, close in the middle, the volume's low. That means, yes, somebody, some group sold, but they've tested the market and it's still bullish. But you ignore all red signals unless you've got weakness in the background. Now, yep. if, it's, if it's a raging bull market shooting up, you've got nothing but strength behind you. And you must recognize these phases of strength and weakness in the background. I mean, if you go and see a bank manager for a loan, for a business, it doesn't matter how you present yourself on the day, what he's really interested in, what's your background? What have you done in the past? Is the bank's money going to be safe with you? And so on and so on. And it's the same thing with the market. Weakness comes in on its own. Ideal places are short when you have weakness in the background and we can sh you can see weakness very easily it it will come in on very ultra high volume um, the market be shooting up if it's in new high ground if it's on narrow spreads it's guaranteed top and so on but you've got weakness then the market will probably oscillate and go sideways as they distribute more on the next wave up this is what you're looking at this is places where you're short and you're looking for no demand but you only look at no demand after you've seen signs of weakness. And if a principle's correct from the top, it's correct for the bottom. Just reverse it. In other words, if you see a down bar on low volume, in other words, professional money's not interested in a down move, then no selling, then demand must be greater than the supply. And that makes it bullish. <coughs> but <clears throat> you must have strength in the background. Yep. Thank you, Todd. And this is always one... look at the background. That's the key thing.